What's up ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to an all new Let's Play Europa Universalis 4 as our Odishan slash Indian World Conquest. We are of course playing on the Extended Timeline mod and on the 8th of March 1474. So it looks like Northern India is obviously in a little bit of chaos. Wanpar, our most powerful ally, is actually, it looks like they're going to be losing this war. They are in a war with Mawa. Sindh, um, Delhi, and a very small province called Jang... No. Yes, Jang Dilesh, which I believe is a vassal. And it looks like I was correct. So ultimately, I could try to assist Wanpar. Who are they allied with? Maywar obviously helping out against Mawa. I think our best option, I would obviously like to annihilate Bengal. Uh, I just believe Delhi might be a little bit too strong. So I think what I'm going to do is very soon, do we have any actual claims against Mawa? No, we don't. Uh, I might be able to kick them while they're down. And that might be one of our best options. Let's recall this diplomat. And, ooh, this is not good. I would rather lose 115 coin than, obviously, uh, lose a stability. So what we're going to do is try to build up our spy network. And very soon we're going to fabricate another claim on Vigianagar. But I would obviously absolutely like to declare war on Bengal. But uh, Delhi obviously has 24,000 troops. And though they're getting attacked right now, I feel like Delhi, yep, Delhi is going to be the victor. Um, let's fabricate our claim on Vigianagar. We already have our claim on Warangal, which is obviously the Dyes province, which has a lot of, uh, trade value. But we're now going to go after this grains province, or excuse me, this cotton province in the grasslands. Let's fabricate our claim on Costa, and I am going to recall this diplomat and bring you on home. Once we get about 15... Um, uh, what's the word? Spy network. We're going to go ahead and try to declare war. I obviously, ooh, Bamanis has declared war on them as well. So I feel like we're definitely in a good position. We're probably going to be able to take around three or four provinces, assuming that everything goes according to plan. Yeah, I obviously want to declare war on Bengal, but, you know, 23,000 troops, 10,000. I feel like I would rather nibble on somebody just a little bit weaker. Making six ducats a month, our inflation is slowly dissipating. Actually, it should be... Well, nope, we still, have, we still have not unlocked the National Bank, but we do have, I guess, another National Bank down with economic ideas. So we're getting about 0.10 yearly inflation reduction rather than 0.2. Um, we now have 16. Let's bring our army maintenance all the way to the top. Can we still make a profit? Yes, we can. And this has more development, so let's fabricate our claim. And we can't do that yet, which makes sense. All right, and so you are going to move on over to here. You're going to move on up to the north. And I'm going to try to, you know, take some provinces without actually losing any land. I have no idea if that's going to be viable. But obviously, let's uh, try our best here. All right, fabricating our claim on Rajor, Raipur. And I don't think their ally is... That's so odd. <laughs> They're literally in so many different wars. But Manus, Maywar, and Wanpar. But, uh, I, you know, I don't think Maywar, surprisingly enough, they're winning that battle. But I think we're going to be fine, so let's declare our war and obviously uh, take both of these provinces. And then all we really got to do is sit on our hands, and then we're going to be getting about eight development. I would love to take this jungle province. Don't know if it's going to be viable. Why is... Oh, I thought that was Bengal. <laughs> they look like the same flags. No, they don't. I just assume they're red and white. So they've got 10,000 troops. I would like to march to the north, but I mean, why fight them if I don't need to? They have a lot of troops, surprisingly enough. And it looks like some of their forces are obviously going to get annihilated. Um, I see Bamanis swooping on in. I would love for them to be successful. Don't know if it, it's going to happen. But like I said, all I really need to do is sit on my hands and not do anything at all. Looks like our allies are going to be annihilating the enemy troops. Delhi, obviously very powerful, making me nervous as well. Are there any, any, are there any actual powerful provinces? I could try to become allies with Delhi. 
Uh, what if I did that? Let's improve relations. Delhi is probably going to be stronger than Juan Par very soon, especially if they get, you know, like two or three of these provinces. Uh, that means this, the shift or the scale has definitely uh, shifted odds. Can we improve relations with Maywar? Yes, we can. They used to be our ally. Maybe they didn't. I could have swore they were. Right now we have Gar uh, Gujarat. We have, I believe, Pegu. And we have Assam. And we have Juan Par. So that's all four. I could easily get Maywar as an ally. Um, I don't know, uh, you know, what exactly the best option is. Maybe going after Bamanis next, and then Vigianagar. Obviously, Vigianagar does not really have any friends, uh, which is good for us. Yeah, Juan Par is going to get annihilated. Which makes me nervous, because that was a very good friend of mine, a very good ally. Once we have 108 coin, I'm going to repay this loan. Can I ask for any contributions? Yes, I can. Uh, surprisingly enough, it's exactly one loan, so let's repay that. And now that we don't have any loans, we are just going to slowly reduce inflation over time. Nobles demanding privileges... Well, there goes some prestige. Did we ever actually get our mission? No, we did not. We never completed our mission within the last 20 years, and that was obviously to get more and more prestige, to get that administrative power. But at least we have the ticking war score, so as time goes on, we're about to be attacked. I think we can end these guys, but if they're going to run away, I don't need to worry about it. Okay, I can now invest in a new idea, and it looks like for the rest of the game, we're now going to get an additional 10% modifier on all of our troops. So we're going to save uh, quite a bit of coin, which is actually why I went with uh, the uh, administrative ideas. Let's go ahead and try to pump out some diplomatic power, improve the production somewhere. I paused the game looking at this cloth province. I don't think this is really the best place to improve. Um... Let's improve the production of silk. This is going to be incredibly expensive, so we're not going to do it too often. Eh, let's do it one more time. That was incredibly expensive, but now we're making 2.81 ducats. That's incredibly insane, especially with the amount of autonomy we have. I think that's going to... That's odd. Autonomy does not pro uh, affect production, which I never knew, which I guess is good. That is amazing news. I wonder if that's only in the extended timeline. Guess I'll have to Google that. Here comes 13,000 troops. I should be able to destroy them. Uh, let's do that. I believe we also have our heir, uh, who we absolutely want to have him killed. He is 31 years old. And 205. If he ha if we have another son, which we can't actually verify, I'm assuming that he has better than seven skills. We have a negative one crossing and a negative one terrain penalty, but we should be able to win this battle. We lost 5,000 troops from that battle. Like, that's kind of ridiculous when you think about it. But at least we've got the men to spare. We have 12% war score. It looks, that's odd. Looks like Juan Par just got a heck of a lot stronger. Is that true? Who, who did this belong to? I obviously, uh, Malwa. Did they win that war? Did they lose Delhi? I wish I could see the events. I don't know if there's really any way to do that. Uh, what if? No. I know in Crusader Kings 2, there's like a message box. I believe they took these three provinces. I obviously see some devastation. What if I... Hmm. This is a core province, core province. Maybe they got a white piece. Because I believe they lost this war. That's kind of odd when you think about it. All right, so they have 25,000 troops. Uh, it, it would probably be a good idea... Mawa here. Uh, let's stop building spy network. It might be a good idea to have Juan Par come and aid us against Bengal. I would gladly give them one or two provinces. But you would think that ne Ooh, Nepal has a lot of territory as well. But even though they have a lot of territory, not necessarily the most development, I don't know if we're really going to uh, call them in for assistance. So would send like a white piece? Probably not. 
Negative seven reasons. And so the idea, I guess, all we're going to try to do is do something. Oh, we can end the war now. <laughs> um, can I take any money? Yes, I can. Let's just end the war. We won some development. We're obviously going to be much better off. We only got about eight development, but that's not bad. And we took a lot of money. We're no longer in a war. We lost 5,000 coin, which is fine. Uh, we have some treasury. Can we improve the production anywhere? Yes, we can. Uh, but should we improve the barracks instead? It would probably make more sense. 750 is the only real viable option, though. And let's improve the ivory trade. Oh, this is cotton. Uh, 0.13 ducats, not bad. Are you still protecting trade? Yes, you are. And so I would say this was definitely a good battle to be in. Um, let's also go ahead. I see that we have some rebels. I don't want to deal with them. Bring our army maintenance down and then over one more. So we're making a lot of coin. Uh, I would absolutely like to declare war on Bengal. Gujarat, Assam, would Juan Par assist? They would very soon. And I feel like we're going to have to deal with Bengal sooner rather than later. Uh, ultimately, they do have a lot of development, but I would probably give Juan Par some territory as well. Would Delhi ever like to be my ally? Indian rival is Bengal. So once I deal with Bengal, I might try to go ahead and switch allies, but it looks like Juan Par is a lot stronger than Delhi. Ah, Bamanis has grown ever so, ever so much stronger. Their only ally is Juan Par. So I feel like what's going to happen is Vijayanagar is probably going to declare war on Bamanis, and then we're going to swing on in. But uh, Juan Par is going to help Bamanis. Gujarat will probably help us. Uh, Assam probably won't be able to assist us because they don't have military access or any ports. Well, we've got 87 coin. Let's build another workshop, and this one is producing cloth. And I think from now on, all we're really going to do is just try to grow our economy. Not grow our economy, but better yet, stockpile our coin. Uh, I absolutely want to continue growing, but I don't know the best way to do that. Okay, is there anything that I can do? We have a 28% tech penalty. We are still, once we have economic ideas complete... Uh, all of our development costs for the rest of the game will be 20% cheaper, which is nice. Improvements in land technology. A few, you'll get as many as possible, which are new weapons with local gunsmiths are making. So let's improve our military power by a lot. Inflation is going to go up, but that's fine. And uh, ultimately, what I plan on doing is unlocking the actual cannon, which will definitely, definitely help out, uh, obviously, sieging down some territory. If I have four cannons in each army, uh, I would obviously be able to have two free siege ticks, but that would be expensive. <laughs> I don't know if I really want to do that. Let's take a look at Bengal one more time. So Gujarat does not want to join in because their manpower is low, but Juan Par would probably join in in about a year. Their war exhaustion, it looked like it went up, but it's probably going to go down uh, within the next year or so. Our coin is slowly improving over time thanks to our economic ideas. Uh, we got a free base tax in the Bengal Delta. I might even make this my capital because obviously it has a heck of a lot more development, and rather than a jungle province, it is a farmlands province, and it has an estuary, and it produces silk. So this is probably the best developmental province I have. But uh, I don't know the best way to really move forward. Let's improve relations with Pegu. Let's improve relations with Ava. I am a little concerned about Ming, as they obviously are very powerful. Can I improve relations with Nepal? Uh, I could even get an alliance with Nepal. Don't know if I really want to do that. I, I'm just so nervous about Vijayanagar. I feel like they're definitely in a good and viable position. But I want them to make the wrong move, and I don't know what that will be. It will either be attacking me, Bamanis, or Gujarat. Uh, if they attack Gujarat, that would probably be the best move on their part. And I hate to say it, but I probably would not assist. 
Um, so the worst move they could make is for them to attack Bamanis or for them to attack me. Uh, the worst move would be for them to attack me. Because then I would bring in all of my allies. It looks like I can get another core on this 8 development province. Not a lot, but also not all that bad. Very soon we're going to get another one. And uh, Malwa is pretty much no more. What did Bamanis take? 8 development, 3, and 8. So they obviously got a lot more development than we did. Bamanis is allied to Juan Par, so I can't really attack them. Can I send my merchant over to Joa? Yes, I can. Fairly soon, once I actually start taking more and more territory, I'm going to build up some fleets. And then obviously start pushing all of our trade into the Joa region. And then basically collecting trade from there. And then that way, all of our merchants are working together uh, rather than, you know, uh, divided, if that makes any sense. Because basically we're collecting here, here, and here. When instead we could just push all of our trade, get some nice modifiers, some nice bonuses. And basically we're probably, it doesn't seem like a lot, but uh, ultimately we could probably get, uh, there's only 9.4 ducats in this trade node. We would probably boost this up to 25 plus all of our uh, extra modifiers. We would make around 30 or 40 coins a month. But obviously we need all of these territories as well, which is going to be harder and harder to do and harder to obtain. How far away are we from unlocking our new technology? Very soon. Uh, unfortunately, we have such a massive penalty. How far away is the Renaissance Sadly enough, the Mamluks are going to have to uh, obviously accept it, then the Persians. We are definitely very far away, so we're going to have a lot of negative modifiers. So nothing much that we can really do about that. Obviously, we can improve our military technology. I want this king, this uh, heir to die. But if we improve our military technology and make another focus, I mean, we're obviously going to be sitting pretty. Uh, and, you know, I don't really think any enemies could take us on. Uh, very soon, we're about to have full manpower, so that means we're probably going to invest in a bigger army. We have improved relations with some areas. Could I attack Vigianagar? Wanpar doesn't want to help. Assam probably couldn't help at all, but Pegu... Uh, one is a distant war, so I don't think that would work. But we have a lot of troops here, and what I absolutely want them to do is I want Bamanis to declare war on Vigian. I would love Bamanis to assist us, but I don't think that's really going to happen. Let's unlock Naval Ambitions. That is very expensive. But now all of our developmental power for the next 12 years, uh, excuse me, all of our diplomatic power will go into development. Uh, finally, we've unlocked the Smithian Economics, and we have absolutely finished with our economic ideas. So now all that's left is to, one, improve. We are so far behind with administrative technology, which is why we are obviously focused there. But uh, we finally finished with economic ideas. So now all of our development in these provinces will be 20% cheaper. And we're actually getting more production efficiency, which is kind of nice. So we still haven't unlocked the National Bank, but uh, we are fine for now. Okay, there should be a stable government. I would rather lose 10 prestige than 50 um, admin. I believe that's what it was. And I'm just ready to declare war on somebody. If I went to and declared war on Bengal, um, a lot of people would help. And we probably will do that. Assam would help. Gujarat would help. Um, and then we would never have to deal with them again. Pegu does not owe me favors but we are allied so i think i'm gonna try to swallow them up uh let's yeah, i guess that's exactly what we're doing let's bring our army maintenance all the way to the top i feel like i need to build up a castle in this jungle province i've got the coin i might as well do that but i don't want to waste my money either <laughs> i think i'm gonna risk it and try not to do that Okay, looking at Bengal, the only ally they have is Delhi. So what we're going to do is call in everybody. And me and Assam can easily take out Bengal. And Wanpar and Delhi could deal with each other. And so what I want to do is I want to take out Sundarbas. Bring in all of our allies. And uh, declare our war. 
there we have it. Just like that, we have 73,000 troops. We have almost double the amount of units they have. So these are the type of wars I like to be in, where it's totally one-sided, nothing the enemy can really do. I'm going to leave these 6,000 here, these 12,000 there, and the idea, well, obviously we should probably take the war goal first, but what I plan on doing is I will gladly, gladly give uh, some territory from Delhi to Juan Par, and they should want it. I will gladly give them Delhi. 20 development, definitely nothing to laugh about. I might even give them two. Okay, so we now have taken the war goal. We are going to move up a little bit. Let's uh, split this guy in half. And you 6,000 are going to go and hang out there. And actually, we're going to siege down this castle. And it looks like we can't do that. Does anybody have any siege? Our heir has siege, and he is working hard and diligently. Okay, Delhi has somehow snuck around. I feel like we are going to hang out here as well. Alright, we've got a lot of units. We have somehow sunk some ships, but let's take the retreat only because I don't want to lose any actual ships. I don't care if we lose prestige. Uh, I'd rather not lose any, you know, permanent uh, ships, if that makes any sense. All right, well, I guess we're going to end this episode. So thank you all so much for joining me. Hope you all have an awesome day. I will see you in our next adventure.